this. Yeah, but not for the next, like, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, then get your blender, though. You can go get that. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Ugh, I'm dizzy. How are you guys doing? This is too much, right? Ugh. Okay, so, a long weekend. Hello, weekend. How are you guys doing? Who is going to be in LA tomorrow? Who's going to be in LA tomorrow? Send me a private message if this platform allows it. Um, I've had a few people message in, have or have friends who've messaged in, saying that can you please accept this person's request? They're re-requesting you, and I never deleted them or blocked them. So some of you guys aren't even seeing highlights you're not seeing anything on this page so that really sucks um before i started this live i was scrolling through my highlights really quick just to make sure i could still see them i didn't see the dtap one and i didn't see the tetanus one and i think there was another one and i i'm like okay i'm not gonna focus on that right now because i'm gonna do a live and i don't really need one more thing pissing me off, but I, if I'm not mistaken, I've lost more highlights yet again. So that's really crappy. I don't know. Don't tell me. If you know, don't tell me because it's going to just put me in a bad mood. <laughs> it's going to put me in an even worse mood. Um, yeah, Facebook, there's nothing they can do. Like, they are so incredibly lame right now they you literally have um what what did i do with my facebook and I, I had a couple people who were like why don't you just give them your name who cares they're they're watching us anyway they already know everything that we're up to they know your face uh because celebrities get to have fake names they get to use fake screen names and that be okay uh there's you know, congressmen who aren't even running their own Facebook accounts. Other people are running their accounts for them. You have accounts for fake sex toys, okay? Fake sex dolls are allowed to have Facebook accounts and those get to stay up, those get to remain. Uh, so why should I even have to explain myself if I don't want to put out my entire name because of privacy reasons, because of... Obviously, I, you know what? I also, I'm also irritated because I, you remember that BuzzFeed article that came out like a couple weeks ago? They were targeting the AV community, but they specifically singled me out and my account. And then since then, I've served a Facebook jail sentence over just like, it's getting dumb, you know? What do you mean, Ella? What's this? It's the principle. It is the principle of the matter. Your dog, yes. Pets can have accounts. Pets can have accounts. Like, I could create an account on here for, for Frankie the bird today, and they'd be okay with that. Um, and here's, okay, there's so much, there's so much wrong with, with the Facebook thing anyways, because this is how, this is how incompetent they are. We already know from articles and new segments last year, how they were caught. It was um, Cambria Analytica or Cambridge Analytica. Look up Cambridge Analytica. They ran an entire segment for over a week. Okay, this was before the first time he was called uh, Zuckerberg was called into Congress, where there was this research app that was asking people to take surveys on Facebook. So people were getting like, take this survey, take this survey. And so many of your friends and family took these surveys around election time. 
they found that when you took their surveys, there were over 50 million Facebook users and they said that that was, that was uh, a low estimate. So 50 million Facebook users profiles were now accessed for taking these stupid surveys, not only that, let's say you're not the dumb one, but you have a you have a family member or a friend or a relative who would have fallen for that because how many of us, did, it, it's literally, it's almost 2020, okay? We're a month away from 2020. I still got like older church members, older relatives that send to my private messages the chain mail type of, if you do not pass this along to at least 10 people, you know, like they, like they come with like roses and flowers and like the, you know, and I'm going, stop sending this. And if I don't resend it back to you, Tita, that doesn't mean that I don't love you. Okay. Tita, can I just, I want things to not be awkward when I see you because I hardly see you. So the next time I see you, can it, can we be okay? Does this mean that, you know, I'm, I'm against what causes the cancer, but I don't necessarily need to like share that. So I still have people in my life that do this. So it doesn't surprise me. This is what's scary. Out of these 50 million users that clicked on this, 270,000, this is from Cambridge Analytica once more, 270,000 of those users had unknowingly downloaded this research app, which now, allowed access to all of your friends and relatives on social media. It allowed this app access to their pages too. So they were already caught mishandling information, okay? Facebook regulators were controlling our data, if you think that your page is just so safe and it's sensitive, do you have friends on Facebook? And out of all of your Facebook friends, do, we, do you trust every single one of them to use caution when going on the internet? Probably not. I have so many friends that still don't use VPN codes, okay? They're they're on the, like right now I'm browsing the internet. It doesn't look like I'm browsing from where I'm browsing. It, it's going to shoot it up and tell them that I'm browsing from San Francisco, Los Angeles. Like you have so many people that still aren't using VPNs. When I say they're weaponizing information and what these people brought to light is that all of this information was mishandled it people with absolute incompetence just able to stare at all of your information because there's people that use facebook to pay they use it to pay each other to so that has now access to your bank account information um what's how do you get a vpn well for now you can google how do i get a vpn and it'll still pop up quiverless um, or use DuckDuckGo. There's many different companies that offer it. It's like sometimes they're $10 a month. It depends on how you pay for it, but it pretty much just, it's a better way to even make payments. Like if you're trying to make a payment on the internet, anyway, um, that's a neat, that you could definitely search that up after, after this. But uh, here's how they can weaponize information, okay? Now, it's not necessarily that they would, you know, it, it's, it's the opposite. It's like, you're not going to go and blow something up, but if you can hack into millions of, um, bank records, personal information like that, social security information, if you can hack into all of that stuff and let's say delete information, you could, without setting off a bomb, cause economic chaos. You didn't physically hurt people but that would cause economic chaos. And they had access now to all of our private messages, all of your private messages and the surveys um, that all of these people were taking, unknowingly taking, downloading these apps, you gave them access to all of your friends and relatives too, to all of their profiles. Um, 
And this is why when that was initially announced, there was like $36 billion that was wiped from their shares. So you're, you're authorizing this, you're allowing this. Now, Facebook does own Instagram, so it's only a matter of time, but let's, let's keep in mind, um, Pornhub has an Instagram account, okay? Like, the names of these girls, they're not using real names. They have Facebook accounts too. So they're allowing all of these other accounts to show up. You know, the last I checked, there's still a lot of blank Marie's, you know, on Facebook, blank RNs, right? I mean, like, you got people who are faking being nurses and being RNs, and they still get to keep their Facebook accounts. Anyway. Um, why do I want to provide all of my information, like my sensitive information? This is what Facebook was asking me to provide, okay? This. this just bites, man. This is what they wanted me to provide. They wanted me to, I now have to choose forms of identification and upload them, upload them to Facebook, okay? These are the type of forms of identification that they'll accept. Why on God's green earth? Am I going to give you guys even more information? And what's funny is, how's, how am I checking this? How am I checking this? Because my account looked suspect to them. Okay? They want all this. Look at this. Family registry. So what's messed up about this is what if you have a relative? What if you have a relative who, um, who they are being banned from Facebook as well? and they're trying to get their account back and they put up their family history, which now links you to them. And you didn't ask for that. Let's say you're not even on Facebook, but now people on Facebook have your information. Polling cards, they want your health insurance information, uh, a company loyalty card, a utility bill. Like, I'm sorry, but this is, I'm not trying to get a job over at Facebook. Like this is employment verification type stuff and that's and even more invasive than employment verification. This is to be on a platform where it starts off in the morning saying, hey, what's on your mind? <laughs> and you're going, I'm glad you asked. I am so glad you asked me what's on my mind. Let me type up some stuff that's on my mind and then submit. And they may or may not like what's going on in your mind. And they may not, they, they just, hey, uh, I know we asked you what's on your mind. And, you know, we should be pro-opinion at this point too. But our fact checker said, our fact checker said that what's going on in your mind is, is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Well, shit. Okay, well, well, so I mean, the account's pretty much on a suspension, which kind, which really sucks because I, I, I do a lot of business on there and I got so many people that literally likely think like that one girl yesterday, you know, I saw that you blocked me on Facebook. So now thanks a lot, Facebook. It doesn't even look like a, and that this is, this is, I'm going to show you the incompetence. Okay. They blocked that real account, which is a real me, a real person running the account that just doesn't want to give her last name. But they left open my sock account. Because you're like, how are you checking Facebook still? Um, I have a fake, <laughs> I have a secondary account that, uh, that hasn't been flagged. That has, this, is, this is showing you who we're, who we're leaving all of our personal information to, who we're allowing to be in charge of this, complete it's fascist right they're they're censoring and they're but they're not even doing a good job at it and these are the people these, these are the guys like that's that's why it just it's really terrifying to me why is everything that the government controls which now they've got their hand they got their hooks just teeth sunk into this facebook platform why is everything that they control a huge crap bucket failure? Huge. Your public schools are shit. Your healthcare is shit. Your DMV, like, I'm going to take my kids on a field trip back to the 80s. And say, we're going to time travel today. And if you want to time travel with your kids, take them to the DMV. Take them to the DMV. Take them to the post office. 
and just have a nice little laugh together that it's 2020 in like four weeks, five weeks here. And look at how your government operates and runs things. We have to still like pick a number, wait in this thing and like may, they don't know. It's a guesstimate. We may or may not be seen for two, between two to five hours. Something, but, but don't leave. Don't leave the room because if you leave the room and your number gets called, you have to start all over because we are incompetent morons. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> that would be a nice little field trip day. That would definitely be a good field trip to take your kids to. I mean, when else can you time travel with your children? The data that Facebook and Google have on you right now. Because this just got me going down that for a little bit. They've been harvesting all of your personal details, okay? And it actually goes above and beyond anything that you could, like, it, the worst thing you could think of, it's actually worse than that. Because now I had to go, I was like, oh, they're going to take me off. I'm like, I'm going to spiral down something. I need to know exactly then what they know, what they already have. Well, first of all, um, they know where you've been. All right. Uh, the, all this data here was collected from the Guardian. And so they know where you've been. They store location on your phone. If you have any location turned on at all, you have to turn it off of every single app that you use. And it's, it, it's already preset like to be on unless you turn it off. It's not one of those that they give you an option. Hey, do you want to turn this on? It's just assumed that you want them tracking wherever you go. So they are storing your location. Oh, wait, and then I ended up going down the red light, red traffic light uh, rabbit hole. Have you guys seen that? You know, here's the thing. Side note, make sure you stop at every yellow light because in low-income areas, there was this guy in New York. He's serving six years in prison right now. Look the story up. He's serving six years in jail because he caught that the he was messing with the red lights because he saw that they were messing with us. He noticed that in the low income areas, they would keep the yellow light on for like milliseconds, purposefully make it switch to red, cause accidents. It was a huge scandal. And his entire thing was that the insurance companies were in cahoots with the, you know, and I was just like, mm, yeah, that's not that far fetched. And then the more I looked into it, a lot of other people felt the same. So this guy set out to prove that they were purposefully doing this in low income areas. Um, the camera at the red lights, yeah. So so now, it really, depending on where you are driving, just be extra careful. There have been a lot of yellow lights that I'm like, that should have lasted a little bit longer. What was that? All these accidents and all the, so, okay. Uh, <clears throat> moving past that to this next thing. I know it, it, it's all too much, isn't it? It's all, it's, it's a lot. Um, so they're storing your location if you have tracking on. Um, this person literally was able to turn it onto their phone. If you go on google.com slash maps slash timeline, you can explore your timeline and it's all saved. It will tell you exactly where you have been in like the past year. Even if you went to different countries, okay? You can see the time of the day that you were in that location and how long it took you to get from one location to the next. So they'll know if you likely walked there, drove there, flew there. They know everything that you've ever searched and deleted. If you click on this other link to see your own data, it's myactivity.google.com slash myactivity. So they store all of your search history in all of your devices. Even if you delete your search history and the phone history on one advice, on one device, it might still have data saved onto your other devices. That is myactivity.google.com slash myactivity. They have an advertisement profile on you, on every single person, because we've discussed this before. If something is free, you're the product. You're thinking that you're getting an amazing platform that you get to use for free where you get to connect with friends and family, maybe see the news, maybe not, maybe share your opinion, maybe not. You're thinking, how great is this that I have this platform I can use for free? Initially, I was like, how awesome is this that 
you know, we get to use these platforms and it's good for business if you want to promote a product or so I was like, okay, I got to keep my Facebook because we do the detox thing and Jeff also is doing a CBD thing and we have to use Facebook groups. It connects us to people. But they've created advertisement profiles on every single person and they base it off of your location, your gender. They, they do that. The, the people that push that everybody can be whatever they want, identify as whatever they want, a clock, a shoe. No, no, no. They, they know what gender you are. They know the one that you were born with, at least. The one that if your bones were found in the ground a thousand years from now, whoever finds you can say whether you were born biologically a male or a female. That doesn't change for whatever reason, right? Okay, um, they know all of that. They know your age, they know your hobbies, they know your career, your interests, relationship status, possible weight, right? Um, they know, this you can find under google.com slash settings slash ads. They also know all of the apps that you're using they have all of your YouTube history. Anything you've ever searched on YouTube, they have that. So ladies out there that also like to play investigator with the people in your life that you love, <clears throat> meaning like spouses, significant others, you know that if you were to go on your phone or their phone, sorry, you know that if you were to go on their phone, there is the Safari option, right? Because everyone has the World Wide Web at their fingertips. I hope a lot of you who like to do the whole, can you send me a link? Um, click on Safari and then click on the bottom tab. There's a private option. And a lot of men think that if they hit private, that anything they search and do doesn't get saved. It doesn't get like that it's private and no one's going to know. They don't realize that you could literally click on private too on their phone and then you click on a button called history. It's got the little books and then the glasses. And if you click on that and you will see everything that they've been looking at for months, for months. Um, I'm not trying to start fights in relationships right now. I'm just saying that this, this is, this is all there. Okay. This, this is, uh, saved. So they now have, um, that it, for for them to see the apps that you're using, it's uh, security.google.com slash settings slash permissions. Um, these are all linked to your Gmail account. So you'd have to log into your own Gmail account. You can't just put it randomly onto the internet browser or else it's going to be like, what settings do you, whose settings do you want? It's linked to your email. Okay. And many people have Gmail um, I don't know who else, I, I know Gmail and Google, they own a lot. So, okay, I, I can only also speak for like my own accounts because when I'm, ch when I'm checking, I'm going, hey, that sucks that they know that. Um, so the data that Google has can fill millions of Word documents, all right? This is all according to theguardian.com. So if you look up the Guardian, Look up The Guardian and all the data that Facebook and Google have on you by Dylan Curran, C-U-R-R-A-N. And he shows how they harvested all of his information and it was literally all saved. And he, meanwhile, he's thinking that they don't have any of it. Um, and then he goes into how they can access your webcam, your microphone, um, the different ways that they get your data. Uh, search history documents, which had 90,000 different entries, even showing the images that this guy <laughs> downloaded and the websites that he accessed. Um, so he, he's showing all that from the back end, uh, all the events that you attended and when. So those like location things too. Sometimes, um, I'll go to restaurants that will you know, offer 10% off your meal if you do a check-in. Like if you check into Facebook, we'll offer you 10%. So what I do is I'll go on my, um, I'll just do a status update and I'll click the check-in button on top and you show that to the cashier. You're like, is this the restaurant that I'm supposed to check into? And then they go, yes. And then they give you your discount and then you exit off of that and you don't actually check into the freaking restaurant just like, but you still got to save some money. But you know, there's people that are like, wow, how great that I'm getting like this much money off my meal and all I gotta do is tell them that I ate here. 
So they have the information that you've deleted. Um, he's showing all of that saved. They know your workout routines. Uh, he says that they have years worth of his photos on here as well. The, I mean, this entire post that he did and expose is really terrifying. Um, when I checked my own, I didn't have as much stuff like downloaded. Like this guy downloaded a lot of crap, but I do upload pictures. I mean, I upload all the, you know, we're saving everything to a cloud. If you, do, this is how jacked everything is right now. My hard drives, I mean, you know that your hard drive and a USB doesn't last forever, right? If you go pay for a photo shoot, I always tell my clients, like, here's your USB or here's your hard drive. But you have to save this at least in two or three other places, especially if it's your wedding photos. Because these hard drives even that we purchased a decade ago don't even work anymore. I'd have to ship it into some random place that, and I have to pay them to extract what's in there because if I plug it in, it just doesn't read anymore. Same with USBs. So you have people that, this is why and for my photography and my contracts, I will only keep your images for up to a year. And that says it in the contract. Do not come after me in four years being like, I need my wedding pictures because if I'm like, I don't have those. Like, and it, um, side note, I have everything saved. I have everything from the past like 13 years saved in different multiple hard drives, but my clients don't need to know that because if there were to be a house fire or something were to happen and I lose it all, then I lose it all. You're shit out of luck. I'm sorry. I don't have it, but I save, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. Like it's when I travel and shoot weddings, I have to save it on my laptop, on an external, on two different memory cards. I have to have what I'm taking saved in four places because things get, it's technology. I don't trust the technology. Everything vanishes. None of it gets saved. And then you got these clouds and guess who owns these clouds? Like I went to the Apple store here in Vegas and I said, so cloud, what cloud would all of my pictures be saved in? Everything from your iPhone that you're, where is it being saved? And the guy was like, that's a good question. I think I think it's the one that we have in Reno, like in our Reno center. I think that's where all of your stuff is likely being stashed. Oh, you're just your database in the sky. Yes, our database in the sky. So what's happening? People are now getting used to the fact that technology is not working anymore. Like you're buying a $25 DVD and you're not even mad if in three years it doesn't work anymore. You're just like, oh, that sucks. No, I'd be like, where's my money? Nobody has VHS players anymore, but the people who do can rewind a videotape from the 80s and it still plays. But our technology is getting worse in the information age when people think the technology is getting better. You're being deceived. It's not getting better for you. It's getting better for them. So now if all my hard drives were to crash, I need to use their bullshit devices in order to access memories. Fine, it's another reason that I'm like, you should print pictures. I mean, how many people don't print pictures anymore? They get the, you know, you pay for a photo shoot, you get that done. Who, ca who cares about that? I'm not going down the like photography route. I'm just saying we're not printing things anymore. All of your memories you think are just saved and stashed and then I'm not even done. <laughs> I'm not even done. After everything that I've mentioned, Google has now joined forces with Pharma. They are now linked to Big Pharma, which explains the censorship, which explains why they have the nerve to ask you without batting an eye. Like you call these people and they're like, oh yeah, that's just the way things are now. It's like, they can ask you for your medical information. We allowed all of this. The Patriot Act, when you had people that were screaming out, this is awful, it's terrible. I know you guys all love Obama, but this is actually really, you had people that were like, um, it's called the Patriot Act. <laughs> How can you be against something called the Patriot Act? 
It is the most anti-patriot piece of literature that I've ever read in my life. You'll just, you're you're going to lose stuff and then you're going to be at their freaking mercy to get your stuff. Oh, you want to, you want to have a photography business? You're going to need to be identifiable. But, but wait, I just want to access my client's images. Uh, you're going to need, but wait, I, I don't want anything to do with social media, but I have all of my wedding photos up. We're going to need more information from you. I don't want anything to do with social media, but my hospital photos from when I gave birth to my first child were only on my cell phone from this year, and I thought they were saved in this cloud. Yeah, uh, we're going to need to see proof of identification for that. We're going to need to see um, a utility bill of some sort. We're going to need to see uh, school records of this kid. We want to make sure that this kid is your kid. That's where we're at. And you and it's all under the guise of we care about you and we want to protect you. We care about your privacy. The nerve, and I'm pretty sure that these people are with me right now because as all of this is going on, I have, as I'm scrolling through this news feed on this sock account, Facebook sponsored ads that literally look like this. Inspiration Unlimited. Whatever you're into, find your Facebook group. What? What about this? 100% chance of slaying. Whatever you're into, find your Facebook group. Really? How am I supposed to find the Facebook group that questions products that are being mandated? because those don't exist. How am I gonna find the Facebook group of thousands and thousands of parents that have experienced vaccine injury and them sharing their stories and their timelines because our doctors don't know anything? How do I find those groups? Oh, wait, that's right. You've shadow banned, you've gaslighted, you've censored, you've removed. How do we find that? It's honestly like a big slap in the face. And my CIA angels, because I call them that, and my FBI angels, because they're obviously watching you, Um, they're laughing. They're sitting back laughing. I'm pretty sure that my CIA angel in there buys the tea that I drink, right? I'm pretty sure. When you saw that story, did you go and buy that tea? You like it, huh? You know, it's not too late to turn over to the good side It's not too late to stop being, you know, evil and all that. I know that you maybe have let me just slide with a lot of this stuff because I might be a bit of entertainment for you, but it's not too late. And um, I wish I knew your name because I'd say a prayer for you. It's just not too late for you. I just wanted you to know that. And anybody else that's listening in, it's not too late. You know, when you were a kid and you watched Star Wars and you saw like Luke and Leia and like how they were going up against these evil dark forces. And like, that's what you wanted to be as like, you wanted to be courageous and do the right thing when you're a kid, right? You were like, I got, I want to be a part like the good guys, you know, that risk their neck, but for like the better of humanity. And then like, look at you, you're like in your, you're like in this office and you're just like, you ended up being a stormtrooper. Like, how does that feel? That must suck. That must feel, that must feel terrible. So I can sympathize with you. He's got he's got to have a name, right? They boot, oh yeah, they booted off Mercola. And what happened with that? Well, the searches are still crazy on that website. It's like, you take something down, it's crazy. You know what, they put a warning on my website. If you try to search like tallylikeitis.com, many of you are getting this pop-up that's like, you know, something about it being not secure, not a safe site. So then that type of cookie freaks people out. Like, oh, that's not a secure site. I don't want to put my information in this. Like, 
you're not putting anything in that. You're clicking and reading up informative blog posts that they've removed, that they've taken down. Like my comments were all wiped on these posts, not even realizing that the not secure site is the one with the HTTPS on it that you use all day long. That's not secure. These platforms are not secure. So Star Wars has been altered, Mandela effect. Oh my gosh, the Mandela effect. Mary is on here. Yeah, no, I paid for that. I paid the like $90 for the year to get security. And then I ended up having like issues with that site lock company. And I was like, no, they wanted, they were like strong arming me for more money. You know, when you get hosting that they can also message you and then have people call you and they send you these emails where they're like, oh, you know, this got uh, compromised. And then you call them and some idiot over the phone wants an extra four to $500. It's like, it's not even worth it. It's like, well, you know, no, because I already have that information. I already know all that information. This was so that other people can have this information and you want my money. So yeah, I've gone down the Mandela rabbit hole. Was it Berenstein bears or Bernstein bears? Was it um, Kazam? Wasn't there a movie called Kazam with what's his name? Sinbad? Or was it Shazam? I know that that comedian named Sinbad played a genie in a movie. And so many other thousands of people know that he did. And they just like wipe this movie. It just doesn't even exist anymore. Shazam, right? No. Nope. Shaz that one, there was another movie, and then they, they're like, no, 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 that was, that was the one with Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, Shaquille O'Neal also played a genie in, like, a high school, and I, I know that one existed, but this other one did exist, and that's been just wiped. Nobody knows what you're talking about, or half, some people will, and then they'll second-guess themselves, and you're like, they just, I feel like it's, it's, a, it's all a test. It's like a test to see if the fluoride is working. You know, oh, in this big, in this population, this section of people here, the fluoride really did its job because these people don't even remember that this show was called this and not that, right? So, okay, so good. There's a lot of other people on here that know of that. I distinctly remember as a child seeing commercials for it. I do. So, this is. Snowden was just on Joe Rogan podcast. He's still in Russia. Yeah, Berenstein or Berenstain. Um, yeah, every, anyway, everything's being like really messed with. So, um, so anyhow, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. And that, that kind of sucks. I feel like this, uh, the time's almost up for this. Um, platform soon here because they're owned by these people a lot of you guys have whatsapp and it's it's owned by them too so there's other ones called signal telegram uh so far getting okay reviews but what have we allowed what have we allowed like you know if, if i were to just stop everything today and and just want to function with the stuff that I have, like my laptop is going to soon not work. It's going to soon just be, um, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to upgrade it anyway. So, I mean, the thing is, yeah, I have a site, you know what? It's fine. It's, it's almost not worth, I, this is the part that I'm struggling on because a big part of me is like, well, maybe that's like a good just exit. Like maybe that is already, time to just bounce, you know? Um, I think that they know what's happening next. And every time that they try to censor one bit, more people are gonna go and discover other things. Like, the, the, they keep doing this wrong. You know, I had a few people, after a couple of like my NASA posts, I've had a few people who've messaged me very concerned. Like, hey, you know, we love all of your other posts where you question the government. Like, basically, this is what they're saying. We love all of your posts, except we just feel like it's not a good move to be lumped in with flat earthers. Like, it's going to make us look even bad. You know that you look like a conspiracy theorist anytime you question an agenda and a narrative, right? 
Like, you know that, right? So for any of you who feel bad for me, don't. First of all, don't ever feel bad for me. <laughs> Second, whatever gave you the impression that I give up about what other people think about me to begin with, you are not awake to the nonsense if you think that it is that it makes sense that they're censoring and shadow banning people who are questioning their mandated products that are faulty, but you think that it is just so beyond ridiculous and outrageous for them to have lied to us about where we are, as if this is not one big Truman Show to begin with. Every day doesn't feel more and more like the freaking Truman Show. Why can't it be questioned? Even if the notion is so incredibly out there, why censor it? Why delete videos? Why ban people? Why say that it's dangerous to have this point of view? What is so dangerous about aligning your views with the creator? and the Bible. What is so dangerous about that? Oh. I mean, even in the end of the Truman Show, he hits a wall. What's so dangerous about that? What is so dangerous about letting people realize that they are more than this insignificant speck in this great big if they're already admitting to you that the images are fake, that they use fake CGI imagery, that that, that that has already been out there, that they've admitted, wouldn't you at least like, well, so then well, why would you have done that? What else are you faking? You have the technology. You're telling me you have the technology to shoot a person off into the moon, but you don't have the technology to get us a photo from up there, just like a picture that you don't have to touch, that you don't have to play with and Photoshop with. We can't just get one picture. Oh, but the Doubletree Hilton Hotel sent cookies up there into space and you have a picture that was taken with a nice fish, fish eye lens. I mean, I've had a fish eye lens. I know what those things do. There was this thing back in like the 90s where it was really a hit it was that's why my wedding photographers look like that so contrasty so like you know you got the vignette around stuff and you know when our photographers sent that stuff into us initially it was all sepia browned like those wild wild west pictures remember it was like a fad and i was like ah oh, i would have you know it doesn't make it timeless it really dates the, like you could look at my wedding pictures and know when i got married like oh she got married sometime in like late 90s, early 2000s, and, you know, um, or not early 2000s, but, like, earlier on, and that that's when all of that stuff was very hip. Remember how many people wanted, like, the red rose? Like, anything red can you make just, like, but the rest black and white it? Yeah, like, it's from that time. So, yeah, and thankfully I got, like, the unedited images, too, but, yeah, that was a trip. So they're doing this. So if, if you already know that like they've mo they've messed with the pictures, hold on, wait a minute, NASA, you were able to take a picture of an astronaut in space with a cookie from the double tree, which those are bomb cookies, but you're telling us that you, you lost the, the original footage to this. You've lost like all of the instructions to do that again. Like you can't do that again and recreate that again. You don't even want to ask. And if I want to sit back home and ask, you're just going to label me and you're going to like call me all of the names. I'm just saying they're making, they're, they're just going to make you look crazy. And it, so it doesn't, guys, it doesn't matter. Like I don't care what people think. <laughs> I don't. And I know that there's other people in this movement that are probably like, oh my gosh, she's talking about that. And that's going to make us, why do you think they're lumping us all in together? You know what? At this point, at this point, they just don't want anti-vaxxers lumped in with flat earthers. Lump me in with any 
anybody who questions all this government bullshit that's happening and all of it, like lump me in with any of those people. I would rather than you lump me in with the crowd that thinks that injecting formaldehyde, polysorbate 80, neomycin, thimerosal, uh, d that thinks that injecting that into their system m equates immunity and health. Lump me in with the other crowd. Please. It's, they're removing like doctors who are speaking out against this. They're removing anybody that is questioning this crap. You know, so I, like I said, once again, I don't, the thing is nobody knows. Nobody is 100% on anything when it comes to, it, are we like, you know, really you're telling me that there's people in Australia right now that are just like upside down? <laughs> Kidding. Have you guys seen those memes? They're actually really good. Meanwhile, at the equator, and it's like this boat that's on its side. <clears throat> no, I definitely think there's more to it. I think the timeline wise, it's just, it's very coincidental. If they discovered um, these great ice walls and resources back in 1958, how was it that within a year, all of these countries came together. These countries that continuously warred with each other regardless, but many of them came together to just vow to not touch that spot. It's almost like they're hiding something. And it's almost like if you question what they're hiding, um, you're a conspiracy theorist. And you, you know, you guys know that the CIA coined that term anyway, right? Like with good reason. So... It's a complete, yes, I agree. it's a complete psyop. Um, that's why. But the thing is, I still have many questions. I don't think that it's just this flat stationary thing. I don't. But I also don't think it's the other thing that they sold us on and that they sold all your relatives on, you know. It's, it's misleading. It's misleading and on purpose. So, you know. It's unfortunate that even if you have your wits about you and you just want to ask like an informed question and get an, you're not going to get a straight answer. You're just not going to get a straight answer. So, and then you want to block that stuff off. Why am I like, th that's what is so sad about all of this. I literally would have had no care, would have never even wanted to look into it. Why am I looking into all this crap? I'm looking into anything that they're going to probably get rid of very soon here. Okay, that's why I'm buying books like crazy. That's why I'm just immersing myself in all of it. And some stuff really is far-fetched and out there. And I'm going, okay, yeah, no, that, that for sure is just like, that's to distract. That's, I think, what Nicole means by the PSYOP. It's that, that one is purposefully to distract, but you can't lump in all of these beliefs with like the one group ever for anything. Because here's what's messed up. What they're teaching kids in school is that just because you're wrong doesn't make this person right. Just because you're right doesn't make this person wrong. So that's what they're, they're already confusing our kids like crazy. You know, <laughs> the birds. Um, I've, I mean, I've put out a really decent, good book starting list. Um, some of the other books I still have to, <clears throat> that I would want to talk about soon, I have to still get through. And some are just really uncomfortable, not easy reads. So I'll do that another time. Um, in the meantime, I'm trying to figure out the next steps here. Because this is where everything's going. And we have to... It's like, do we roll with the times? Is it, can it, once we start accepting all of this, it's going to get worse. And if you're like, this is what's messed up. I had all these people too jump on that Facebook post I made because I was like, look guys, I'm using this account and it's ironic that they deleted the other one. Um, and they're jumping on there with their fake names. You know, I have, 
I won't call them out, but look at some of these names. You're like, there's no way that that's your real name. And you're commenting on my, on my status going, wow, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But it's only a matter of time because that means that, uh, if they can get away with what they're doing to my account and anyone else that's speaking out where they're literally shutting us out unless they're strong arming us, unless we provide them with this very personal information and everyone else is sitting back and just like, Ooh, that sucks for that person. Yeah. That's like how you would feel, right? Like how we all felt, Oh, that sucks for Alex Jones that he's not allowed to. Why do you think this man runs around town with a blowhorn? Um, and that's how everyone feels about this. Well, that sucks. Well, yeah, that sucks for me today. But you're you're on a you're on a little bit of a time crunch too, eventually, because it takes you sharing one thing that is um, sketchy to them. It takes you liking a certain post that is sketchy to them. You guys want to see something really trippy too? Where is she? She posted this um a while back. My girl, Lou Gracie, she's, she's on here as Red Pill Rev. Um, I should have, this one should have also set me off. Somebody liked one of her posts and then they got, hopefully Facebook didn't delete it. Then um, a survey popped up asking this person what they thought about her post and, hold on. I don't know if she's listening in on this live. Can you tell me which one that was again? I feel like she posted this up like a week or two ago. And it was really unsettling when I first saw it. I was like, ew, what does that mean? That means that they're already, that they've been monitoring and now they're asking people who like and comment on posts what they think about you and what they think about your, you know, it's kind of, what, what about this post made you, let's see. I might have to just share that to my stories if I can even find it on here. They've already, I mean, they, they're already, anything conservative, they're censoring, they're only hiring um, these triggered SJWs straight out of college, straight out of these indoctrination camps. So, gosh, I hope they didn't remove that post from her here, but I saw it and I was like, that sucks. And this is already like weeks ago. So, yeah, what are you guys gonna do? Um, China social, you guys know that that's why they're also uh, rioting and having all of that in uh, in Hong Kong right now. It's their, their information has all been taken. There was this app that everybody was using out there. What's the name of the app, you guys know? There was this app that everybody was using that pretty much they had to put all of their information on. Um, it would check these people if they missed a doctor's appointment and then it would freeze their accounts. Like they wouldn't be allowed to use their own money. So that's why you have a lot of these people they are using those laser lights for their security because everybody is already being tracked, watched. with Once again, without your consent. You don't consent to any of this stuff and they're watching you. So these people that lose information all the time or your information gets put in the wrong hands. It's so 1984. I don't know how we like let it get to this just as a nation. I don't know when and what it's going to take. I feel like it's going to take some middle American guy who is not able to access his bank account or he's not able to access his money and he's just gonna like lose it. Cause I think we're done here. I mean, women can lose it and we'll go off, but then, then what? So, so we make little videos on social media if we still have it for a little bit and be like, this sucks. And then that's it. But now watch them go and mess with your kid's education. Watch them mess with your money and we'll just see how you do then because they're leaving people in such debt in this country and dependent on all other, you know, you got people that can't even get approved for their medical anymore unless they take their kids into this stuff. 
Ugh, I'm going to have to have her tag me in this, in that post of hers because that was like really appalling. I was like, yuck. That means somebody is getting in there on the back end watching you and like asking your friends what they think about you. Do you even want to be on a platform like that anymore? And then they got all this stuff up for your kids. Okay, yeah, I'm not finding it. Crap. I'm wondering if it got pulled. Let me message her so I don't forget. I feel like it's coincidental too because last week I did those like pharmacy runs and it took somebody just reporting my page. So somebody reported something or a post. Um, well, maybe I should start this off with hi. <laughs> okay, so I know. All right, well, um, I'm going to jump off this because it's likely going to boot me off anyway. I don't even know if it'll save, um, and it's it's hard. It's like I, I care to try to save these things, but then I'm like, mm. who uses um, Patreon over here? Does any Do any of you guys use Patreon? Because a lot of people are recommending this site to do, like, lives and videos, um, but if... But I want to know. So if you use it, maybe message me. Let me know um, what your take is on it and if it's something that's worth, like, signing up for because, you know. Do they, wait, they ban people? You mean this Patreon site? They ban people? Man, they are, they're making it increasingly harder for us. Um, and then the more I watch what they're throwing on that lie box, like the more I see all the little, you know, I'm going, oh man, they're selling us on like the wrong dream entirely. You know, they have, they're selling, you know how many luxury channels there are and like this is the life and then you look at it and you're going, yeah, for $14 million, you can get some mansion that's not even that big in LA. Or you can get for like $6 million, 2,000 acres of off-grid land in the middle of America that you have your own streams, waterfalls, your own like water resources. You know, it's already geared up for an off-grid type of, but that of course, you can get land like that for much less. There's land out there for $50,000 that you can get yourself like 10 acres. You know, that's, that's really what it is. I feel like everybody's been pushed into these outskirts where we're now left so dependent on them. They've pushed you away from what they know is the true gold mine, which is the resources that are left in this country and that actual land. But you don't, you're not going to see luxury listings and you're not going to see uh, the lifestyle being upsold like that. They're going to upsell it to you like, oh, the, they're going to downplay it. Oh, those people are hippies, idiots, like, you know. But that's that's where the goal is, honestly. Like, that's the actual goals. So, alrighty. I'm bouncing off. We'll chat soon, guys. <laughs>